So it is US Open time. I'm American and a tennis enthusiast, so I thought it would be fun to do this little series looking at migration and tennis. My name is Melissa Siegel. I'm a professor of migration studies, and this is a channel about all things migration. So today we're going to actually look at Cameron Norrie, who is a British professional tennis player. And in August of this year, August of 2022, he reached his career high ranking of world number nine. Now he has a really interesting migration story. His parents have an interesting migration story. Let's first though talk a little bit about his tennis. I told you he's reached now a career high ranking of number nine. He actually has um, four ATP singles titles to his name. He has a Master 1000 title. Um, at the 2021 Indian Wells Masters and a number of other titles. He is currently the British number one tennis player on the men's side. Now let's talk a little bit about his early life and his migration background. So he was actually born in 1995 in Johannesburg, South Africa. So he was born in South Africa, but he was born to British microbiologist parents who were immigrants in uh, South Africa at the time. So his father, David, is originally from Glasgow and his mother, Helen, is originally from Cardiff in the UK. Now, when uh, um, Cam Nori was three years old, his parents moved to Auckland in New Zealand and his parents still live there today. So he actually grew up for a lot of his formidable years also in New Zealand, but at the age of 16, he actually moved to the United Kingdom. But in his early juniors tennis career, he actually played for New Zealand and then later switched to playing for the UK. Now, what's also interesting about him is he not only then lived in the UK for some time, but he actually went away to university in the United States and played tennis in the US at um, Texas Christian University in Fort Worth in Texas. And he did that between 2014 and 2017. So he was then also an immigrant in the United States for some time. And then after being, living in the United States, he moved back to the UK for some time. Also during the pandemic, he lived with his parents also from, for some time back in New Zealand again. So you can see that Cam has this really interesting, rich migration story. His parents were immigrants in South Africa where he was born and are now currently still immigrants in New Zealand. He's lived in South Africa, New Zealand, the United States, and the UK. So very, very interesting migration story. We know that there's still a very bright future for Cam and look forward to seeing what he's gonna do in this year's US Open. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the videos that we upload every week. And of course, hit that notification bell. And if you know of other immigrant tennis players or people that have really interesting multicultural and migration backgrounds, make sure to let us know in the chat. We know that there are a lot more stories like this. I'll also be trying to cover more stories like this throughout the US Open uh, uh, tennis tournament and also maybe during other tennis tournaments throughout the year. So of course, I do hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.